Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. This is Stacy with Crafty Dragon Creations, and today um, we're going to do a tutorial on using up some book pages. I have 10 ideas here for ways to fold them up and use them as pockets um, in our journals. Some of these, or maybe all of these, you might have seen before. Um, some of them I have seen before, and some I just kind of folded the paper and it came out to what it is. So, uh, disclaimer, I've not seen every YouTube channel out there, so if this has been done before, fantastic. Um, if you know who did it, please comment below with their, um, with their video so that we can give credit to them. So, um, let me quickly show you what we're going to be doing. Um, okay, so here's the first one. And it is a double pocket. So there's a pocket here and a pocket here. And then if you just glue these three sides on your page, you'll have a third pocket in the back. There's one. And this one, that's uh, kind of different, <laughs> but there's a pocket here and a pocket here. And then if you glued it down, like just these two sides, maybe the bottom, you could have a pocket here. So that's kind of, kind of different. We have this one, which there's a pocket here, here, and here. Okay. And of course, glue it on three sides, you'll have another pocket behind, or you can do a side pocket, whatever you want to do. We have this one, which has a pocket here, here, and here. And I think, yeah, I left this little, little thing open down here. I mean, it's not, probably not very useful, but could be a pocket. Again, glue on three sides on the back. You'll have another one. All right, here we have a tag-shaped one. And there's like a secret hidden spot there. Sorry if you can hear my dog. <laughs> he uh, announces to the world that he's outside and he's watching. <laughs> um, so anyway, there's a hidden pocket in between there. And then you could, of course, have a pocket behind. And there's this one. There's a pocket in here. Of course, you could have one in the very back. Pocket here. And a pocket here. Okay. So, most of these have multiple pockets. So this one, there's a pocket here, and yeah, in there, and there's like a tuck right there. And then we have a corner one, so it's going to have a pocket here, you know, big pocket, tuck, little tuck right there, and then of course you could have one back there. Oh yeah, and there's also a little side one right here if you wanted. So there's that one. And there's this one. Of course, pocket in the back. Pocket here. Pocket here. And there's also a little secret pocket kind of here on the side. If you wanted to put something in there, it could go all the way through. Or you could just glue that shut, you know, whatever suits your fancy. And then lastly, we have this one, which actually has two separate pockets. And that's because it is glued. They're both glued here on the back. So they are two separate pockets. So there we go. We're going to learn how to make these. Super simple. 
let's get started. So you're going to need book pages. Um, these are some that I've already kind of trimmed down and I've inked all the edges. You don't have to ink. You can use any color of ink, whatever you want to do. Um, I just like them inked and uh, also that way you can kind of see a little better where the lines are. Okay, so I'm going to have to kind of use these <laughs> as guides because I'm not sure I totally remember how to do these. Alright, so we're going to do this one. Alright, and you can do this out of any size book page. It, it doesn't matter as long as it, you know, fits in your, your journal. Okay, so for this one, I just turned it sideways. And you can do it, you know, with this on the bottom or the top. You could trim that off, whatever you want to do. And then I folded one side over about halfway. I didn't really measure. I just kind of eyeballed. You could do two different sizes if you want. You see how this is going to be bigger than this side. Um, you could do the same size. You could measure exactly. So we're just going to eyeball it and kind of go about right there. And then this one, I'm going to butt up right against there. Okay. And then I want to punch my little holes in there. And I'm going to use this to do that with. So before I glue it, I'm just going to kind of mark inside here where these are going to meet. That way I can kind of see my, my halfway point. So we'll go about right there. And then the same on the other side. There we go. So then you'll have your little notches. I'm going to ink those up so that they show. Okay. And if you want to go through both, you know, use your notch through both sides, that's fine too. I don't like to do that because then I have a hard time finding where it's open. So at least this way I have a place to start, you know, to put my stuff in. So that's just, just my preference. So whatever, whatever you want to do. Okay. So then we're just going to glue the very edges down here. small bit of glue. You can use whatever glue you like. Whoops. Let's go ahead and fold that. Oh, and also along the bottom. And there you go. And you can ink these edges. Again, you don't have to ink if you don't want to. You can also sew around here if you want, and then sew like kind of down the middle. So there's our first one. I'm not going to decorate these just for the sake of time, but I just wanted to show you how I made them. This one you can also fold. So if you want to some reason have just one side down and flip up or you could have the whole thing flip over or you could not fold it at all okay so there's number one okay so for the second one we're going to do this one again take your book page Let's see if i remember how i did this oh yeah so we're going to take if you care about which direction your wording is going um Keep in mind that when you fold this up, this is going to be upside down. So you'll want to turn it 
turn your page upside down. Then when you fold up, this will be right side up. This um, will be upside down, but if you decorate it, you won't really see it. Do you like that one? Okay, so this one, we're just going to go, just kind of eyeball it. Go up however far you want, keeping in mind that this one is also going to have to fold up. Okay, so if you bring this one way down here, your little bottom pocket's going to be pretty pretty shallow. So we're going to go there. And then we're going to bring this up. Just kind of making these two about the same. You don't have to. Okay. Let me just ink this so we can see it. Okay. And luckily I only got one little line of <laughs> upside downness up there. And then I put in my notches just on those um, top two. You can use a um, little circle, circle hole punch if you want. Try to get these about the same. It's not liking that paper. Let me let me fix that little part right there. There we go. Okay. So then you have that. So then you'll just glue here. And on the other side. That one will fold up like that. And then this one, glue on this side, and that side. And again, if you wanted to, you could close, close this up or use it as a little secret spot there. And then there is that one. And then I just decorated it. Fix this right here. Now I'm not usually one to mass make stuff because you know I just I never really know what the design is gonna be or anything like that. But these would be great to mass make and just leave them like this. Then you can decorate them however, you know, whatever theme fits your journal. So these would be really good to mass make. All right, so that's number two. Number three, we're going to do this one. So let's see if I remember how I did this. <laughs> okay, I think I went like this down just a little bit more all right hold on. I'm trying to get it right in the corner there so okay good enough okay so fold that down if you want to do it the opposite way you can fold it this way so you can do both all right then we're going to fold this up however high you want to go this one I think I did it pretty much up to the the edge of that fold there so that's what we're going to do on this one crease that down okay and then this one, we're going to bring this down. Okay, so let's do that one again. So you have your paper. Fold this corner down. Fold this one up. 
and fold this one down. Again, you're going to have all kinds of direction on your writing, but once you decorate it up, no big deal. All right, so then we're going to glue here. And I'm going to glue the bottom here. Okay. So you have a little tuck spot here. You have a tuck spot here. You have one here, actually. If you don't want that, you can just glue that up. And then you'll have a pocket here. So there is that one. All right, <clears throat> next we're going to do this one, and let's see, I think I went, yeah, I went long ways, and, or did I? <laughs> no, I think I went this way, okay, so. Horizontally, I'm going to fold one side over, and then this side you fold over kind of just to however wide you want it. We'll just do it the same as this one. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's make that straight. Okay. So we have that, then we're going to flip it back over and we're going to flip this side up have it go the same way, okay. So I'm going to flip it over so I have this side on my left, okay, and we're going to flip this up. So then we have kind of the same thing. This paper, keep in mind that as you, you fold and fold and fold, your papers are going to become a little uneven. So, okay, so then there's that one. I'm going to put my little notch here. I'll use my circle punch for this one. Where's my, oh, there it is. Okay, so we'll have a tuck here. And I know this one's a little bit longer, so just depends on how you fold it. But you'll have a tuck here, and then a pocket here, and a pocket here. So let's glue this. You just glue it on the sides. And if you want, I think I have one where I also glued this down, but we're going to wait on that one. So you have a tuck there. You actually have two pockets right here. So you've got this one and that one. And then forgot to forgot to glue the back so then you'll have one here and then possibly one in the very back okay so there's that one all right then we have this one so this one we're going to fold in half once, okay, and then in half again, and I'm 
going to trim. That off of there. Okay. So we have this. So with the fold, depending on how you want these angles to go, but I'm going to do it this way. For the fold on the left and at the bottom, so then you're going to take one, one corner and fold it as far as it will go. Okay. Then you're going to take your other corner and we're going to fold it about where there's about a half inch. Okay. But then we're going to put that underneath. So we have pocket here, pocket here, and a pocket here. Okay. So again, fold this corner down, fold that to where you want it, but then tuck that one underneath. Okay. So this one you could have a pocket up there. So let's glue this side. This one I didn't get it all I'll cut off of there. I got that little torn piece, but that's okay. It's okay. Okay, so then this one we're going to glue here and at the bottom. Okay. So we have that and the bottom. If you want to have a bottom tuck, then don't glue the bottom. You just glue that side. And then this one we're going to glue this side down. And then this, you can either leave that as a little tuck and just glue here, or you can glue the whole thing down. So I'm probably just going to glue the whole thing down. And you can see I just used washi tape to kind of cover up that line. And then you can punch a little notch up here if you want. I don't know that I can get my... I can get this through there. Oh, didn't even touch it. Alright, let's try. There we go. So this, the only difference is this one doesn't have that little notch. Okay, so there's that one. All right, for the tag, we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we just did. So I'm going to fold it uh, twice, fold it in half twice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut my, I'm just going to use this as a template, but I'm going to cut my tag shape. Okay. And then I'm going to trim this. that off. Okay. <clears throat> so we just have one pocket inside here. So I glued all of this down. And all of this down, yeah. And 
And then I just glue it around this top part and the bottom part. Now if you want to be able to put something in all the way up here, just glue these two sides. If you glue this one down, you're only going to have this much space available. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to glue those, those two top lines, areas, places. <laughs> See this one, I just did the these two. If I had glued here, then that would be glued down too and that would make my pocket smaller. Okay. So then we'll ink these up. And there is that one. So then you have a nice little tuck spot in there. All right. So then there's this one. Okay. So this one again, we're going to fold long ways once. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Long ways. And then this one I'm going to fold up. Actually, let's do this. I, I want that on the back. So, okay. So then this I'm going to fold up to however tall I want it. Doesn't matter. You could go all the way. Up here, you can go here, here, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to go to about right there. And then this one, I'm going to fold down this way. And then we'll glue here. And then we'll glue here. And on this side. Oops. And then this. You could glue it here and have a little tuck spot there. You could glue it here, have a little up tuck there, or just glue the whole thing down. I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. And there's that one. Then you can punch your, your holes. If you think about it, you could punch your holes beforehand. This one's going to be a little off because of that right there. So, <laughs> little tiny hole punch. There we go. And then you could also punch a hole here. Get in there. There we go. And you could do it in the middle or off to the side. <laughs> okay. So there's that one, and I have it going, you know, the opposite direction, which is fine. You can do either or both. Just depends on which way you you flip your page. Okay. 
So there's that one. Let's see, we got three more. Okay, so this one is similar to one that we did earlier. So we're going to go horizontal and I'm going to make this as wide as I can where these will overlap. So I have an overlap of about a quarter inch, if that. Okay. So you can see I'm just overlapping just enough to have room to glue. Okay. And then, okay, so we're going to glue this. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over and bring this up. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have glued that. Oh, what'd I do? Did I make that a whole pocket? Nope. Okay. So I have pocket here, here, here. I made this one just a little pocket on this side. So like this one, the pocket's only halfway. So that's what I did on this one. Okay. But you can leave that if you want. I just, something a little different. So we'll just kind of glue that. And then I can decorate that and cover that up. And then glue the sides. And there's that one. Punch your holes. See if I can get it somewhat straight. I didn't like that. And then you could punch a hole in here. I will do that later. <laughs> okay. So there is that one. All right. This one is really easy. So we're going to take our paper. We're going to fold it in half long ways. Okay. And then I'm stuck on there. there we go. And then we're going to take this side, the right side, and come up. And then I'm going to kind of turn it towards me like this. And I'm going to line this corner up on this line, just using this line as a guide. And then I'm going to bring this one up to that same line so that they'll kind of be even. Okay. All right. I actually folded that one a little different. Wait. Okay. Sorry. Let me, let me start over. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I want to make a tube. So... Now that I've folded this and I have my center line, I'm going to bring that over and then bring this one over just as wide as I can that I will still have room to glue. Let me make this a little straighter. Okay. And we'll have room to glue. There we go. Sorry about that. Just going to glue right up there. Ooh, almost didn't make it. Okay, so then you have your little tube. Okay. 
Now I'm going to bring this over. And again, I'm going to use that line as my guide. And you can make this as wide or as skinny as you want. So I'm just going to bring it, we'll just put it at an inch. A little bit more, there we go. Just keep in mind the width of your journal page. So you are going to have one seam on one. This one, I it ended up being on this side. But you will have a seam, so um, be mindful of that. And that's it. You can punch your holes. That won't fit. And this is not... It's not liking me anymore, so I'll fix that later. <laughs> but you can punch your holes like I did here so that you know that these are pockets. And then again, if you glue it here, here, and down here on your page, then you'll have this as a pocket as well. Okay. Alrighty. One more simple simple one. So we're going to do this again. We're going to make a tube. Okay, bring this one over. You can make this as wide or as narrow as you want. Okay, uh, yeah, we're going to glue these together. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and fold it in half. If you don't want the seam showing, stay on the side. <laughs> Fold it in half. That doesn't want to fold very nicely. I didn't have this trouble with the other one. There we go. And then you can take your punch. Let's see if it'll do it for me this time. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so this one, I punched this one pretty deep. So let me see if I can go a little... No, okay. Then this one, I punched a little less... Or a little more shallow. Oh, my goodness. Oops. And it's not exactly straight, but see, now I have two notches. So you'll have one, two, three, and then the final back one, four pockets. Let me, let me eat this up. Maybe we can see it a little better. That's awful. <laughs> okay, so then we'll just glue down the sides here. And there we go. So again, we have pocket back here. I'll do one here and one there. And then you'll have a pocket back here if you just glue those three sides. 
All right. Let's look what we did. All right, so here's the tin that we made. We have show it both decorated and undecorated. Again, these would be really cool to mass make and just leave them undecorated. And then you can, when you want to use them for your journal, decorate them to fit your theme. So these are fun. I enjoyed, I enjoyed doing this. This is fun. All right, guys, there we go. 10 ideas to fold a book page to get multiple pockets. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And comment down below which one was your favorite. I, I think they're all pretty cool. So it's, it's kind of hard to, I think this was kind of neat because it'll be something different, you know, in your, in your journal. But yeah, they're, they're all fun. Let me know which one you like. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.